a new ninth edge battle. We wrapped up the old one, two, undecisive. Now we have Highborn Elves against Vampire Counts again. Yes. And this is uh, Vampire Counts Magic Face, turn one. Highborn Elves have already moved up. Uh, objective is Spoils of War, and uh, deployment like was Counter Trust. Just like last time. Yes. These goblins are actually spearmen, spear but uh, they are just as good. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the very good. Ikke kan yes, so uh, high elf uh, first turn just uh, moved up quickly, and uh, shooting and magic did uh, very little. And now uh, movement phase from vampire counts. They uh, just shuffled a bit around, moved up on the flanks, and now it's uh, magic. Still in turn one. Mm. Elf turn two. The sea guards uh, moved up and got some shot at the skeletons. Uh, Ten the skeletons as well. The phoenix, together with the swordmasters, charged uh, the unit of skeletons. Eating them up almost. Yes, and up. then uh, the reavers moved up here to chaff the knights who stood uh, in front of them previously. Stood here. Yeah. And then the prince on horse uh, moved up here to kind of zone this area. Uh, shooting did very little. And then in uh, Vampire Knights, uh, Vampire Counts uh, turn 2, these, uh, what are they called? Vampire Spawn. Vampire Spawn, they charged the uh, Sea Guards. A mistake. <laughs> which was <laughs> with the prince, I'm not sure how smart that was. <laughs> um, Standard shoot did one over nobly. And then. Um, These uh, vampire knights mm. charged the rivers, which stood. Um, the uh, uh, vampire knights with the je with the lord here moved a little bit back, um, and the zombies moved a little bit back. These wraiths moved a little bit back, and in the magic phase, uh, the ma uh, the magician cast dance macabre and moved the vampire knights even further back, and. Um, Evocation of Souls was uh, dispelled, but Ancestral Aid went off on these Vampire Knights. And uh, I'll try to aid against the Swordmasters and eat up some Swordmasters before they're too destructive. Yes, so the idea is maybe to overrun into the Swordmasters. And also, this Vampire Swarm went up there just for a little bit extra chaff. Also, in the shooting phase, the three Banshees uh, screamed away the Chaffing Eagle. Boo. And um, the High Elf in his turn 2 also sh almost shot away, or shot away 7 wounds of the Vampire, uh, bats. the Bat Swarm over here. So that was both turn 2. Now on to uh, combat. Just one question from an ignorant bystander. Is this a pile of to be raised zombies or are they dead? Uh, both. <laughs> both <is not. laughs> dead and soon to be raised. Skeletons, the cycle of life goes on. So we first resolved the combat with the Swordmasters and the Skeletons. The Swordmasters and the Phoenix, of course, crushed the 13 remaining Skeletons. And uh, the High Elf player tried to reform his Swordmasters so they pr perhaps could face the um, Blood Knights, but uh, it was not possible due to uh, an inch. Uh, from this uh, space restrain. Space restrain. Um, then we had the combat with the vampire spawn against the Seaguard Reapers, which uh, the vampire count player learned was not a wise move, <laughs> and uh, the Seaguard killed eight wounds from the vampire spawn. The vampire spawn killed six Seaguard Reapers in return. And here, the uh, Blood Knights uh, ch who charged the uh, Elaine Reapers in the flank killed all of them and overran into the Swordmasters. And now it's High Elf turn 3. Okay, and the Prince declares the charge in the rear. 17 charge. And the Spearmen declare a charge in the flank. And then I have to think about what the Phoenix will do. We got the idea. Mm. On round 3, the Vampire Counts gather up the momentum 
they overran into the Swordmasters, but the Highborn Elves on their turn. Yeah. Or the turn Highborn Elves turn three. They charged the rear of the Vampire Knights, killing one of them. And the Swordmasters didn't kill any Vampire Knights, but the, one of them crumbled as well, so there's only one left there. Now, on Vampire Count Span turn 3. Uh, before Vampire Count turn 3, I will do a combat reform. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he'll be doing a reform with his Swordmasters. Here you have the Flame Phoenix fighting against the Skeletons. They managed to stand against the Phoenix in their flank. And they did a combat reform afterwards, so they're facing it with the Banshees. Over here the last vampire spawns were slain by spearmen in the flank, as well as the Seaguards and the Prince. But this elf on a noble steed is in trouble. Here you have the vampire count and his retinue of knights angling at the rear of the Noble Elf. Yeah. On round three, One more chop. the Elven General was killed after fleeing from the combat because he was not steadfast and lost combat by one. The Blood Knights and Vampire Count caught him in pursuit. The Swordmasters only killed three wraiths, lost combat but were steadfast and reformed. They lost by one in the same combat that the Elven Prince fled from. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's pretty much going in disparate direction on, dis on different fields of the battle. So nothing is decided, but the mage is very central here in the Swordmaster unit. Still not decided. Now on turn 4, the Seaguards are coming up to decide it. This is the second battle we finish after round 3. Now, what do we think would have happened here? Round 4. Uh, I think advice. the Vampire Count player is uh, in the best position by far. Says the Elven General. Yes, but I, I think it's quite obvious. He will take my Swordmaster unit uh, with my uh, mage. Um, and he will probably grind down the Fire Phoenix as well. And then I will have the Sea Guard unit and the Spearman unit left. So my only possibility, perhaps, would have been to move this unit up to grab the objective and then try to win that way, but I think I would have lost. It's hard to say when it's uh, three turns left, so yeah. much, it's a dicey game, but... Uh, and I think also the Vampire Count player, he, uh, he's winning now, but I think he could have won even uh, <laughs> sooner <laughs> even sooner if he hadn't done some uh, mistakes. Hmm. No, like the chef in the first round. Mm. That's for example. Yeah. He had a good option to counter the swordmasters with banshees and to chaff them up, but he chose not to chaff them and let them charge a bit too early, these swordmasters, in the first rounds. So the high elves they did a massive mistake by moving up uh, way too aggressively with the swordmasters. Yeah. Because then they, they ended up being a bit too alone in the um, world. In the world yeah. I didn't, there were some like, overrun charges and stuff like that I didn't uh, foresee and then they got some uh, bad uh, flank charges that Indeed. lost the game, I think. They were really ground to powder. But it was a good match. Yes.